morning guys and welcome to vlogmas day four so it's friday december 4th 2020 and it's about 9 a.m now so i did all the chores this morning and i just wanted to say yesterday i had put the video on where i showed about making a little pet pillow and i had pre-recorded some videos just in case that I was having some days of feeling really crappy to be fair and yeah so that's why you didn't see me in person yesterday well not literally you know what I mean yeah so just in case this happens again there may be a few videos like that between now and Christmas day so Someone's scratching in the background. I think it's Lucy. I already have Emma nested on my lap. Oh no, it's pretty. Hey, pretty. Ah, you're a pretty boy. Yes, he got his name pretty. And his sister got her name Crystal. So when T.E. was little, that's what he named the two kitties. Hello, darling. You're a good boy. Yeah. And he's pretty anyway. They're all pretty. Yeah, so I just wanted to tell you guys that now sat here with two kitties got my cup of tea and my bracca so yeah also just wanted to say I'm not going to name the lady but just to let you know there was a comment that although it appeared in the little comment box when I clicked on it it didn't actually take me to the comments it must have been removed so if you thought that I hadn't replied, it wasn't because I didn't reply. I couldn't because it had perhaps been accidentally deleted maybe. Yeah, I, I, I have talked about that previously. Sometimes people do message and say, how come you didn't respond to my message? But the comment message, but it's like, well, if it's not there, I cannot do that. So I don't know, maybe it's a YouTube techie thing or maybe it was an accidental deletion or you changed your mind it, it really doesn't matter so it was a lovely message but I just couldn't reply to it also I know it's really really boring I don't know quite how it happened but there was a small tiny bit of footage of I think it was when I did the descaling of the kettle there was supposed to be an after video to show you guys how shiny it was and I'll put that in today I know it's really boring but it's just to show you the before and after. You guys didn't actually get to see the after. So yeah, I will put that in somewhere. I know, I know. It's real life, guys. I know, it's really not interesting. Okay, and remember a few hours ago, there's a little bit scaly in there. Look at the shine on that. And what I do, I don't toss the vinegar. I actually put it back in the bottles and then just reuse it until it gets to the point that the vinegar is kind of rendered useless so there's no point tossing it if it still works so it'll be a waste but yeah that is a friendly way of making sure that all the fern icky stuff inside the kettles gets clean also I wanted to say thank you so much for the comment about the issues about lack of sleep and a couple messages that I got and not feeling alone. I know that that happens a lot. I used to be a home care nurse so I've seen a lot, a lot of things and very upsetting things. So anything from the most basic things to the most horrific and traumatic. So yeah, anyway not going to get into that but I don't know, unfortunately for me, my body just does not give up its answers very easily and yeah, there has been quite a few things tried over the years but no, I just cannot get a good night's sleep and although you guys saw the time, just a few times, that was only just the camera being picked up those times, there was a few more times in between that. Yeah, so an average, if I went to bed about midnight 1am and got up about 6.37, I probably would have woken up about 
anything from 10 to 25 times and on really really bad nights no sleep at all so I, yeah I have to be careful because I got a couple of medical issues that with say medication you have to be careful with that and I'm not a product girl by any means and these sort of gimmicky products yeah no not for me I'm afraid and also a lot of it is to do with the pain so the pain keeps you awake during the night but also perhaps on nights that the pain is just about manageable again still no no sleep but yeah lucky me just got a few things to contend with and it's been like that for quite a few years and to think one day once upon a time you know although I have had one particular health issue that's been there pretty much all my life I've been so healthy in these last few years it's just crippling absolute crippling with pain and it's really hard as well it's hard to form friends new friends because they don't want to take on somebody that is like that and sometimes I, I can understand that you know if you're arranging something and for whatever reason last minute you have to cancel you know people do get bit PO'd with that but again I think if somebody is a true friend they would not ever make you feel like that never make you feel guilty for what you cannot help and you know you get some people that criticize and say oh okay but I saw you last week and you were fine when I saw you for that hour and some people you know it, I've seen it as well in the medical profession it's like one minute it's so judgmental in the sense that oh yeah you're okay you know you're fine it's like no you're not fine you're far from fine <clears throat> and you know pain fluctuates comes and goes depends what's wrong with you you know managing that pain and also the body how it actually copes with it and also your care package and things like that it's so so many variables and yeah some days some people can do things on one day and then they may do that same task another day and they just cannot it doesn't mean they're faking it it doesn't mean they're putting it on it doesn't mean that that's not as bad as that they say it is and I get really ticked off with people that are so judgmental like that because nobody knows until you actually go through something yourself and yes some people say oh yeah I went through that <laughs> I know some of a few people that I'm thinking of oh it wasn't that bad at all look at me and it's like yeah okay either you've had the best medical care that the planet offers or maybe it wasn't just that bad and yeah and also some of us are just not robots some of us are actually human and yeah and also I have a very high pain tolerance and so for me to actually be in pain it's real it is really real and also for those that like to be judgmental and don't believe you know it's very hard to convey to those people and again it just goes back to unless you go through it yourself you don't know you really do not know and you know society still even after how many thousands of years has humans been on this planet we still criticize we still are so judgmental we still have not set things up in this modern world that we got there's so much technology around yes it's improved but not a great deal and a lot of people still miss out on things that they would absolutely love to do love to be a part of and even if it's not the techie side of things I mean simple things like a techie thing like you know if somebody's in a, a wheelchair and they need to get to a higher floor if there's no elevator like what already it, it's like no it's no excuses now I don't think but also the other things like you know the more humany side you know of going out and you know some people don't look at you and look at someone else oh would he or she like a drink or would he or she like to take an order and you're thinking hang on a minute we're human speak to us you know it's not that we're we cannot communicate verbally and even for those people that they cannot communicate verbally there's always ways around things yeah so it is a funny world that we live in and sometimes I feel really upset and very scared to be fair it's a scary world out there 
and you don't know how people are going to behave around you and believe me I've had and seen so many people be treated so disgustingly and there's just no justification for that it's absolutely unacceptable and until you see that and hear that and it's great if you've got somebody that will actually defend you but for the most part people it's like I oh, don't want to get involved or just stand there and it's like yeah but if you're silent that's really quite cruel especially to those that are on the receiving end of that negativity sometimes I just shut people out and then sometimes it's like I want to you know be friends with somebody and it's just like you know they kind of don't want to or they start to be friends and then sort of wanes off a little bit and it's like oh okay then and it's like some people I know yeah they've got a few things wrong with them and it, it's it's hard it is it's really really hard so but it's like trouble with me I think I'm too loyal and I'm too caring and I think you know I'm a realist I live in a real world and see and hear things but you know some people take things for granted and yeah you shouldn't do because it just takes up one split second and then something changes but some people it's like you know they want this this and this and it's like well hang on a minute <laughs> you're not there for me or you were not there for somebody else it's not reciprocated so yeah I am slowly beginning to sort of toughen up but it just doesn't sit comfortable with me because that's not who I am I know I'll wear my hat on my sleeve and I know I shouldn't but it is what it is so there we go yeah I know I know I've just one of those mornings today isn't it and yeah so, so I'm feeling a little bit better and enough to rant in front of the camera but yeah it's just it's a struggle every single day and as much as people sort of say oh I'm glad you're feeling better well I'm not really better for the most part there's, there's certain levels of things that I've got that are not really better at all but you know when your head is absolutely agonizing with pain that's the one that really takes it out of me and yeah so yesterday was a bit of a, a bed couch day and that was it really so you know but I have a tea and my tea is wonderful and wouldn't be without him and yes of course I feel guilty of course you know he's missed out on so much and you know it's not the years that I suffer it's also the years that he suffers not suffers in the sense of Oh, it's really hard to define that. I, I say suffering since of, you know, he misses out. And I don't like that he misses out. And I wish that when I was, if I could actually properly find a physician or a specialist that, that actually could fix me. And then it's like I've got to make up for all those years that he's missed out on things. And I will do that if I get to that stage of feeling like I did pre-crappy body. So, I don't foresee it getting better, but, you know, it's like... There's a tiny little element of a flickering candle inside me that sort of hangs on to that very <sighs> tiny little bit of weak hope that it could happen. But I don't know. I think it's just bad luck. I don't know. Or money, maybe. You know, some people can pay for their health care, and I am not in that position. So, And I would never accept that. It's just not me. Right now, let's lighten the mood, shall we? Hopefully today I might be able to do a little bit of sewing. That's my aim. And I'm going to show you some pretty basic tea patterns that I picked out a few days ago and show you a couple ideas that I have for that. And yeah, but give these two little cuties, I will show you what they look like. Give them cuddles, finish my brekka, and yeah, kind of start the day. See you in a bit guys and thank you so much for listening i know i know you guys you have a heart of gold thank you so much and for the messages the pm personal messages thank you you know how much i'm grateful for that okay see you in a bit well there is emma nested on my lap and there's my pretty boy and my pretty boy i'm gonna get your tummy we're gonna get your tummy yes we are 
Yes, we are. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. I know, that's my brecker. That's my brecker. Can you show everybody your tummy? There we go. There we go, my darling. You're my good boy. You are so soft and you're just like set in silky velvet, aren't you? Yes, you are. There is a teenage eating in the house. Hello. Good morning. How are you? I think everybody's okay. And you have an iron behind you and it looks like it's coming out of your shoulder. No. That's so funny. Hello guys, lunch is prepared again and today we have one cookie, an apple, carrot, celery, an egg, hey. pineapple, nuts, and then off to the side. Oh yeah. Some more chips. <laughs> and you have a have order, don't you? Yes. I'm the complete opposite. I have to have a runny egg, don't I? Oh. oh. Yes. Yep. Here's more runny egg. Yummy. Evening guys. Yeah, it's currently dinner time, so so I just talked to you guys while dinner is cooking and it is 20 after 5 at night yeah it's been it's been a funny kind of a little emotional day today I know we all get days through circumstance thing stuff in life yeah and just had a bit of a mini meltdown earlier and yeah, I was just upset and things like that. Yeah. I have a lot of those days to be fair. Just felt like never gonna vlog again, don't ever want to be here ever again, don't want to do anything. What's the point? Never gonna get anywhere, I don't ever get anywhere, it doesn't matter how much I do, how much I give, how much I'm loyal and kind and thoughtful. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. It's funny, isn't it? Don't know. Don't know. I think sometimes we're on this big precipice of life and too much expectation, too much pressure, you know. People only like each other if they have similar things in common and follow her. I know we're kind of humans, we're a herding creature by nature, but I don't know. I am always sort of a person that always lives outside the box. I'm someone if I'm given a map, I'll go off map because, yeah, why not? Break the rules because it's more fun, it's more interesting, you get to see and do things. Perhaps not what we all kind of follow down that same straight line. Got to have a few bins in the road, see where they take. Yeah, I don't know. And then all sorts of things go through your mind, doesn't it? You think of all sorts. It's like in me, I have this big travel bug and haven't travelled for a little while. <laughs> it's like I think recently the most I've travelled to is down the driveway to the trash can <laughs> and 
yeah that's my lot I don't know I just trapped within myself trapped within this anxiety no confidence anything like that and just in my head I've got all these wonderful ideas don't come to fruition I get really hurt I get really upset and yeah, I see other things, people, life, circumstances, and think, wow, wish that could happen to me, wish I could do that. Why can't it happen for me? Da, 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 da. You know, you go through all the processes, don't you? And no, it's got nothing to do with feeling sorry for yourself. Absolutely not like that. I am so not like that. Anyone that would really truly know me would know instantly that that's not, not me. But we do go through the processes and realms of thinking everything and yeah. And it's good to think like that because then you're analysing everything and working out and you know if you've got an issue you you figure it out you know and I'm somebody that likes to do that because it's good for the brain it keeps the brain active it keeps it going it keeps it motivated problem solving yeah so <laughs> the investigator in me I guess I don't know but yeah, so anyway, dinner is cooking, and yeah, I'm just going to, while it's cooking, just show you a few pittings, and just a few ideas that I've got, and yeah, I go through that, so I'll just flip the camera around, and what I'll say is, I'm going to say goodnight to you guys now, flip the camera around, go through a couple of pittings, and then see you guys tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow might be a little bit of a bitter day, but I don't know, I don't know. Tomorrow is always fresh, I guess, <laughs> apparently, but we will see. Yeah, sorry it's been a really crappy, crappy video today. There's some true minds we did to put it out, but, you know, this is life. And also some people, it's helpful for those that think and feel the same, and it opens up to make them feel that they're not alone. And they have a voice, and they should be heard, you know, and if we can talk... It's great to sort of share those thoughts and yeah if anything good comes out of it then that's always a positive thing so but I think with everything going on I know Rachel had mentioned on her video stitched up that you know with this vaccine and everything that's going on but because it's new to us it's like ooh, it's always a bit, ooh, a bit too quick but it's like with anything new isn't it we question absolutely everything if we lived a little bit further down the line and something had been around for a few years we don't question it do we it was like okay that's been around for a while it's all good but yeah but that it's not just the vaccines anything in life anything that's new it was always a bit mm. so yeah anyway right patterns I'm gonna do the patterns I'm gonna say good night guys please stay safe have a good evening morning alvo wherever you are take care and i'll see you tomorrow night guys Oh, sorry, pittings. Sorry about the shadow, it's because of the line and everything like that. But you guys know that I have made this pin before, and it's this view here. That's just the Swedish tracing paper there. And I'm going to make it in the stripe jersey here. So I think that would work for that one. Then I have a few patterns here. It's a little bit of an older one. I like pretty much all those views to be fair. Not this sort of ruffle there. That's kind of not my thing. Then these are all just regular basic tees. A low V neck line there. Then this, although it's a dress. I was thinking of swabbing it out for a tee to get a little bit of vintage look with that neckline. And then this deeper round neckline here. Yeah, and then this bit of pattern. And I really like view A there, and it has some ruching at the sides there. Many years ago, I had a tee just like that, kind of like bumblebee yellow. And I was thinking of using this jersey with the polar bears and see how I get on with that. And I think the ruching at the side there, I don't know, it just gives it that little bit of extra detail and interest and see how I get on with that. Yeah, so there are my pins and the fabric. 
just quickly I have this tea as well that I've had quite a few years and it has that sort of similar neckline you'd fold down it is a three quarter length sleeve there and it does fit but there is a really nasty stain here that even I cannot remove even with my wonderful concoctions of earth friendly cleaning no it just doesn't want to come out and also with white fabric you have to be careful anyway because they have pigmentation they have grey, yellow, pink pigmentation in blue I don't mind the blue pigmentation because it's kind of then like an ice white but if it goes grey, yellowy yeah pinky if some cleaning agents sometimes do get that out of the fibres and I don't like that so I like to keep my whites as wide as possible but yeah I don't mind the blue white but anything else no so I was thinking of deconstructing this and recreating it and then tracing out the pieces onto the paper and then just doing it in regular fabric of whatever I decide to do but I don't know I don't think I'm going to do that tonight with the wire feel. But yeah, they're just a few pattings that I have there. Sorry.